Hello. Now that you've talked about scarcity, which is the combination of unlimited human wants and limited resources on the planet in order to be able to furnish those wants, today I really want to kind of focus on the concept of trade-offs and then this related concept of opportunity costs. Trade-offs first are, are, it's defined as the process of giving something up in order to gain something else. Uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a process. Opportunity costs are, is the, the value of what it is that I've had to give up in order to make a choice. L let me illustrate the point. For seniors, you can only go to one university. And probably when you go through this process of selecting a university, you may have a list of five, maybe even ten universities which you want to attend at the beginning of your senior year. So you go through the application process. You pay your fees and so on and so forth. But ultimately, you're only going to be able to pick one. So let's say that, for example, Harvard is on that, that list. It's number one. Harvard is number one. And maybe Yale is number two. If I choose to go to Harvard, then I necessarily give up the opportunity to go to Yale. So I've had to face a trade-off. I've had to go through the process of making an economic choice and then foregoing something else. Well, that something else is the opportunity cost. In our example, it would be Yale. The ability and the value of attending Yale University is the opportunity cost. That's what's had, um, that's what is foregone when I've had to make uh, a a, an economic choice, in this case the choice to go to Harvard. So, we've defined scarcity, I've given you a brief definition of sort of the process of opportunity cost, of trade-offs, and then a definition of opportunity cost. It's that next best alternative, or what it is that I've had to give up in order to make an economic decision. We can graph this situation. It's one of the very basic graphs that we do in uh, both micro and macro economics, and it's it's actually called a production possibility curve or production possibility frontier. I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and draw one for you. I'm going to block this out. Vertical axis, horizontal axis, and again the production possibilities. To illustrate the concept of trade-offs, here's how it's going to work. I'm going to put one choice on the vertical axis, I'm going to put the other choice on the horizontal axis. So I'm actually going to do a personal example. I'm going to assume that I have the choice of either grading papers or developing very interesting lessons. Developing lessons. So now I'm just going to sort of put some, some numbers into this. We could take this off of a schedule or a, a list of possible op, 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 alternatives that I could pursue. But for right now, we're just going to simply graph it. Let's say that in any given period of time, I could grade maybe four papers. But in that same period of time, perhaps I could have developed, because I'm relatively good at it, ten lessons. I can then draw a line connecting these two extreme positions. And what that tells us is, for example, I could do four papers grading, or I could develop Tim lessons, or I could do a combination of these, these two. That's what this curve, that's what this line, that's what these production possibilities tell me. So, for example, I could, I could do three lessons, in which, or three papers, in which case uh, it looks like uh, I, would, I would perhaps, uh, that's looking maybe like four. I could do two papers, and it looks like I would be able then to, maybe that's, uh, let's just say for argument's sake, that that's seven. Or I could do one lesson, and, and maybe that's, that's nine. 
So I've got some interesting combinations. Four papers, zero lessons. Three papers, four lessons. Two papers, seven lessons. One paper, nine lessons. And then zero papers and ten lessons. So, how does this illustrate the concept of opportunity costs? Let's assume that I start out at this position here, we'll call it A, where I'm grading four papers and I'm, I'm developing no interesting lessons. And let's say that I'm, I'm not very happy with that as a teacher. I'd like to actually develop some interesting lessons. And so I make a decision. I say, right, I'm going to give up. I'm going to give up grading a paper in order to develop some lessons. In this case, if I give up a paper, I'm going to be able to develop four lessons. So I move over on this curve to position B. What is the opportunity cost? Remember that the opportunity cost is what I've had to give up in order to make a choice. In this case, I've made a choice to develop lessons. What am I giving up? Well, in this case, the opportunity cost is one, one set of graded papers. I've given that up in order to produce four lessons. So we could uh, you know, move then from position B to position C. In this case, I've incurred an additional set of papers as an opportunity cost when I've moved from B to C, and that's actually given me uh, three more lessons to develop, and so on and so on. We could actually uh, graph these positions in a, in a schedule. We could go 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and then uh, so forth, what, you know, 1, 4, 7, 10, and on and on and on. Um, but for right now, this is a, a, a basic chart in economics to describe trade-offs and the process of making trade-offs and the opportunity costs associated with that, what I've had to give up in order to, to make, uh, make an economic choice. So uh, I hope that's relatively clear. I'm going to have a set of uh, questions and papers to, to ask you, and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon.